negative 0.5 on the graph the third one there on the left is pi over two and it's up at the it's kind of a maximum there not a minimum Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, that makes sense. it's little things like that that will allow you to differentiate between them Um, let's see. Why is it going to negative two sine? Three x. So if we were to look at like this point and like this point. It's got to cross at pi over three on the way up. Um, so that one's out. That one, the next one's going the wrong direction. That one's looking good. And the pi over three, is it like in between like the pi over two and the pi, right? It's like this one, like in middle. No, pi over three would be the left of pi over two. So like right here then? Uh, so like rather than doing like trying to do that, go to like on the, the graph on the left or where the pi over two is. Mm -hmm. Go go to your graph and decide if pi over two is that top point. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I think that, it's, that yeah. now it's you know it's that's the right one. Okay, okay, cool. All right, so the amplitude here is eight. So number front, the period is two pi divided by four, which reduces to pi over two. Two. Okay, cool. Transformations of sine and cosines. Do I need Desmos open for this one? Probably. Probably. Oh, I see. You have, so this is an actual graphing one. All right. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, this one's gonna be more more difficult. Let me like. Could you go to the back to the left window so I can read it? Mm -hmm. Sorry. All right. So just drag the movable black point to set the left vertical asymptote, and shift the function the red point to the right vertical asymptote, thereby setting the period of the function and the blue. Point to the correct set of coordinates. You may click on a point to verify its coordinates. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and graph. Uh, go ahead and graph. Yeah. What, exactly what you see. Plus pi over. And you want to remove that negative from the front there, please. Oh. Okay, so zoom out just a little bit, please. All right. So uh, it's kind of hard to see. It's one of those things where, so the black one is fine where it is. The red one needs to move over to the right. And the question is, well, how far? Mm -hmm. um, so it's at four pi. So you want to drag that red one over to the four pi. Okay. Now you can see that that it crosses at three pi over four. Mm -hmm. So you want to drag that sort of the blue dot that's at pi one down down into the left. It's at three pi over four comma zero. Oof. I guess that doesn't allow you to do that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I'd have to move this. I don't know if that would. No, nope, nope, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so you got to drag that. Um... Boy, this is going to be painful. Um, drag that two pi mm -hmm. zero down. Drag it down two units to negative two. This one, I don't think I can move it. I think it's just this one. Okay. Yeah. Mm, all right. Well, 
this is gonna be really hard to do that's why i guess i'm just gonna say it out loud um yeah it's like i i want to get in there and start dragging it like you got to kind of move stuff around so i can see Mm -hmm. Because that point, what they're trying to show you is that that point has to move. Um, can you move it left? If I move it left, it'll just like go up pretty much. That's like the left. Well, so, so it only moves up or down. Pretty much, yeah. Because right, I was so trying to pass them and I couldn't move it left. Go back to your graph on the right and uh, type. Uh, go to the next line, type in x equals pi. And then uh, go to the intersection point. Ugh, that's not going to work. Um, so, I mean, that's like based on what you're telling me, um, based on what I'm reading there, mm -hmm. like we or what you have control over, which is, I, I would have to take control, but it looks like you need to move that point high on your, on your graph there down to match that one on the. Oh, okay. No, no, the, the one on the left there. This one? Yeah. So does this one have to be... Um... I'm not... Yeah, that one needs to be pi minus 0.664. Like, we need to move that down. Hmm. I wonder... No, that would just move the whole thing. That's not going to do anything either. Maybe I can do it. No, that would just be the wrong way. It's no good. Yeah. Go to your uh, go to the graph on the right. Maybe I maybe I missed misread this. Could you type in uh, x equals four pi there? Just put a four in front. And could you just zoom out a little so I can make sure that that's actually the yeah that is the ass. No, no, that's not the asymptote. That why is that? Um, that's weird. Type in uh, three pi. Well, that's the issue. That's why we're having a problem here. Okay. Um, this is gonna be really hard to do this way. Is there another assignment we can do? Yeah, I can try. We can skip the chapter eight ones, and then we can just start on like the new stuff. I mean, I haven't learned it here yet. I'll probably start it on class on like Tuesday, but if I can just get like a jump on it, like I might as well. <laughs> And, you know, it may just have been that problem. There, there might it might be like one of those things where, so you, we can do it. Like I, we can absolutely do it. I just I'm asking you, like, like do you? It's going to take a lot longer to do those than other ones. Yeah. No, it's okay. I want to. We can look at the other problems first, um, because these ones I can just, I can like maybe ask the tutors because I had asked them for help with some of the other ones that were like this. So I can ask them just for help on those two because the two that I had for that chapter were just like graphing like that. Um, right. But we can start looking at like chapter like eleven and see if hopefully it's not any graphing. Yeah, these aren't. These are just some indifference formulas. Okay. Oh, they're not even open yet. Then we can do the graphing. I mean, that's. Oh wait, just kidding. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. If the graphing will take longer, I'd rather just get this done. It will. It will take a long time to. Cool. These okay. could be. These could be faster because a lot of these can be done using calculators. Oh, okay. okay, this is like this is where you want to go back to the Desmos uh, scientific uh, calculator. Uh, I would just open up a new tab there. Wouldn't I? Wouldn't necessarily. Uh, I would stay on page. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, sorry. It's a scientific one, right? Yeah. Oh, you're there, and then uh, you just type in uh, like let's guide here cosine one hundred five. You got uh, one one zero five. Sorry, one oh five. Now this one's it's a little bit bothersome because I don't know if it's degrees or not. Um, no, it is. It is the the see how it says deg. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. okay. So now hit go down a line. Hit enter. Uh, don't don't change that to rate and change it to keep back. Yeah, hit enter to go down to the next line, and then you just got to grab the one that you think is right. Okay. Um, it's it's probably gonna be like the square root of two minus the square root of three over four. Because it's got a negative, so now you got to get back to a negative. You said the square root of three minus the square root of. I'm looking at I'm looking at the third option: square root of two minus square root of three over four. 
Oh, okay. Um, square root of... A little left there, yeah. Two... Oh my goodness, Christ. Plus a square root. Not, not uh, sorry, fourth option. I, oh, okay. I was excluding the one that... The, just the negative between them. Minus... Oh, geez, was over four. Okay, so it's not that one. Maybe it's the square root of two minus the square root of six over four. I would just edit. I wouldn't rewrite, you know, to save time. Like, just, just change that three to a six. That's the last option there. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so this one's even more difficult to do. Um, so go to uh, on that that one on the right. Open up a new tab, mm -hmm. and and no, no, no you got to go to like a new new searchable oh, yeah. tab. Yeah, and type in uh, Wolfram Alpha. There you go. All right, so th sometimes it'll just give you what you want. Like type in sign A, parentheses A, like you've got there. Uppercase. Yeah, use uppercase for that. Equals 15 over 17. Comma, sign B. Is it capital B? Yeah. Yep, just like you see there. Equals minus 5 over 13. Comma, cosine, A minus B. Lovely, yeah, lowercase. Yeah, it won't, it won't like that. Cosine, A minus B. Scroll mm -hmm. down. Let's see if it, uh, it gave you any, if it gives you anything else. All right, so try that minus 171 over 221. All right, let's go back to the uh, Desmos calculator. And then these ones, I just have to match to it again, right? Yeah, so you want the positive ones this time, like the square root of two plus the square root of six over four. The square root of two plus This is going to be the other one, right? This one? Yeah. So let me a little bit more. So just follow. Yeah, go ahead and remove all that. It's always better to follow there. You just, yeah, get rid of all that. And then uh, this time type sign lowercase a equals minus two fifths. Comma, cosine. E equals one over three. Comma, and then you're trying to find, uh, I'm not sure what it. What you're looking for. Go back to the other one. Equal to one over three, sorry. Yep. Um, Sign A plus B. Do I have to put in parentheses? It doesn't matter. Yes, yes, it does. I, and I would I would have put the A's and the B's in parentheses, but I think it'll, it'll accept it as is. Just like that, I just hit enter then? Yep, yep. You kind of, it's kind of writing software. Um, and so the, 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 this does not always give you what you want. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it does not give you what you want. Um, so 
uh, you can, you're going to have, we're going to have to do something else. We'd have to do this by hand, uh, which is fine. Um, that's fine. If we have to do it by hand, it's okay. All right. Could you, uh, could you go back to the other, other window so I can grab a snip of it? Okay. All right, so the first thing is you have to draw a triangle and you have to like know which quadrant you're in. Mm -hmm. You're in the third quadrant. So the reference triangle looks like that for both of them. Mm -hmm. So that's A, that's B, and sine A is uh, minus two fifths, cosine B one third. Uh, that's not right. Sorry, I'm in the wrong, wrong triangle, wrong, wrong, wrong quadrant. That's why it wasn't working. Okay, so you're over here in the uh, fourth quadrant. Okay. A, so sine A is a minus two fifths, and B is a one third. So this is the uh, this is two root two, and this other one you're just using Pythagorean theorem. Uh, this is square root of twenty one. It looks like. So that kind of tells you the answers. By the way, if you're like looking ahead, yeah, that it's probably going to be that one or that one. Mm -hmm. Um, if you get two get, do you get two guesses or just one? So I think with the multiple choice, I think I'll get one. I don't know. Sometimes it'll give me one or sometimes it'll just be like two. Okay. I think well, it's yeah, no, we don't need to guess, but I, I'm just, you know, that like, if you want to further save time, this, this would be the time to, uh, to guess. Now you have to know the double angle formulas, which I'm going to pull up here. Uh, or sorry, the, some, some formulas. That the, these are these are extremely long problems. So you have sine a plus b. Mm -hmm. So the way this works is the top one goes with the top one. Mm -hmm. So your in your problem it's it's sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b, and that's why you make these triangles because you get the ones you don't have. So sine a is minus two fifths. Cosine B is one third. Cosine A is square root of 21 over five. Sine B is two root two over three. So this, this is where you, you know, you start simplifying, you end up getting minus two plus two square root 42 over 15. Mm -hmm. And then is that one of the options? Yeah. It's the last one there. Yeah, minus two plus two. Yeah, that's how you that's how you do it. Okay, cool. Minus two plus two. You said so minus. Probably. Two. Sorry. Sorry. You said it was the last one, right? Minus two plus two. Yes. Mm, it said that one was wrong. Okay. Maybe it was the minus two minus two. Might be. Might be a sign oh, error. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one this yeah, this one's negative. Sorry, that that uh, will affect that. Well, Should okay. be that one. Yeah. Later in the night, the more errors I make. Uh okay, it's fine. So, <laughs> but uh this one I can just plug into Desmos, right? If it's asking for a tan of seventy five. Uh, you'll have to you'll have to share your screen. Um oh, I'm not sorry, seeing I'm not yeah. We have to keep going back and forth now, fortunately. Sorry, let me share it again. If it'll... Hold on, let me... It says if I share my screen, it'll stop your 
screen that's sharing. fine yeah okay. we 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 can't share at the same time that's that's a one limitation of this but can you see everything now yes okay. yeah so go back to yeah like you said go back to the scientific calculator um yeah tangent 75 and then you're looking for one that's positive so maybe that first one try the first one square root of three plus two Uh, um, yeah, there you go. Two, three, there four. Cool. Go ahead and try another. Definitely not that. Two. Same thing. Do uh, tangent. Uh, this time you'll you'll want to change it to um, to Radi radians. Okay. Yeah, for that pi over twelve. And then um, this one, it's probably going to be one positive, one negative. So like that minus two plus square root of three. You could try that. Minus two plus square root of three? Yeah. Minus. Don't worry about that. Uh, you don't need to change that. Yeah. Okay. So notice that that's the wrong sign. So you want the flip of that. Mm -hmm. Two minus square root of three. There it okay. is. Nope. Yeah, there you go. You can, the, the the best way to do is to enter this. Um, Into the Wolfram or whatever it's called. No, no, no. no. Well, yes, that will work. Um, yes, yeah, you can go into Wolfram and just type that that expression. In. It'll give you the. Do I have to put parentheses or probably not, right? I would I would use parentheses. No, 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 no. It's 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 time. So it's co it's sine pi over two. Keep going. Yeah, cosine pi over six. Like you're just entering an expression, yeah. Pi over six. Close parentheses, minus. Cosine pi over two. Which taking nine pi over six so one of the reasons like you might not do it this way is because you now have to remember square root of three over two mm -hmm. and you have to figure out which of those on the left is the square root of three over two it is the third option okay. i believe yeah that's where the other calculator might have been slightly better. Mm, okay. Do you want to graph this one? Go back to the, uh, uh, the, the, um, you actually it's, want to graph, yeah, yeah, the, the graphing calculator. And you're going to graph tangent pi minus x. And then you'll graph the other ones till you find one that looks like it. That's not that one. Tangent X, not that one. There it is. This one's better for Desmos, right? Or uh yeah. I would yes, I would graph that. Yeah. Yeah. Cosine X plus Yeah, let's change it to cosine. So yeah, there you go. All right, and then as uh, so you're just graphing, you're going to grab pick one to graph, and hopefully it looks okay. like yours. Um, you 
Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to decide like uh, there's a better way. The Wolfram Alpha is good sometimes too, but yeah, I mean, you just you just maybe have to go through here. I I would try the Wolfram Alpha because um, it'll sometimes give you the other ways that it could look. Mm -hmm. So cosine x plus five pi over six. So x plus five pi over six. Yeah, close parentheses, and then sometimes it'll give you an alternative forms. Um, scroll down. There you go. Um, right there. See the minus one half square root of three cosine x minus sine x over two. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. So that's that second option on the left. This one? Yes. Is Desmos better for this one? Uh, yeah, the uh, calculator. So not the grapher. Like I don't. I, they they labeled this poorly. Like I think of this as a graphing tool. Oh, you okay. want the scientific. I mean, thank you. Won't let me do it from here. Cosine and twenty minus forty-five. So actually, the uh, Wolfram will be better for this one. There it is. So that's that's the exact result that they want. Now, question is, do they want you to rationalize that and? Uh, they probably do. Scroll down, see if there is a rationalized form. There is not. So, mm -hmm. yeah, this, so this is where you have to, like these calculators don't give you everything you want. So in the top, you're multiplying the top and bottom by the square root of two. So it ends up being square root of six on top minus the square root of two over four. So I'll help you, I'll help you type it out, but uh, yeah, you went to that fraction bar. Yeah, is there any way you can get both of those visible? Well, that's what I mean. Oh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. Well, I know once you go back and forth, it's going to cover it up. So just uh, as long as you can get, yeah, as long as you can get to where you can see both. So it's going to be square root of six minus square root of two. Uh, that's right. Square root of six minus square root of two over. Is it four? Over or... four, yeah. With the square root of six minus the square root of two, can those actually no. like subtract no. or no? Okay. No. Let's, yeah, see the same thing there. Cosine two forty. So you're going to have to rationalize. They don't give you that form, so you'll have to... So it's actually the same answer as the previous one. Oh, okay. Square root of um, 6 minus square root of 2? Yeah. This one, this one's at a right, the wolf... This is the one we did earlier. Um, so it's the exact same. Uh, Problem. They, they often repeat them if you get them wrong. Oh. It's the it's the second one, or sorry, the third one. Minus two, minus two square root, forty two. All right, try a uh, Wolfram Alpha on this one. Just type it in the way you see it. Cosine big A equals four fifths. Find big B equals 24 over 25. And then comma sine A plus B. Sine A plus B. Uh, 
that. So there you go. So it's 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 three fifths. Might be minus. What quadrant are we in? Yes, yeah, uh, it's it's, po it's it's positive. Okay. Since they're both in quadrant one. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Um. Quadrant one being quadrant one. Sine. Cosine a over four over five. Sine big B. Twenty four over twenty five. Sine. A plus B. Hmm. Hmm. So we I, I can we can work this out by hand. Uh I'll just grab it snip here. And I'll share my screen here in a moment. Okay, so quadrant one, there's A, four fifths, that's three, and B, B in quadrant one is a 24, 25, um, seven, I think is the right answer there. Let me just double check that. Mm -hmm. Some reason, late at night, I'm a little bit. More tired. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right, yeah, it is seven. Okay, so then we need the formula for sine a plus b, mm -hmm. uh, which we which we did earlier. Um, so here is the formula. Um, so we need sine a, which is four. Sorry, three fifths. Cosine B is 7 over 25 plus cosine A, 4 fifths times sine B, 24 over 25. And then I'm just going to a calculator to uh, calculate this. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, uh, 96 over 125. Um, so I get 117 over 125. No idea why I gave you that answer. That's, you know, the danger of using some of those calculators. Mm -hmm. So you said it's 117 over 125? Okay, yeah, I took it. All right. You'll have to share your screen again if... Yeah. Uh, Can you see them both now? Oh, okay, I think you can, yeah. Yep, all good. Continue. So uh, you can go to Wolfram, that one right there. You could you could try that, just entering the tangent, 2 pi over 3 plus pi over 4. Plus pi over 4. And sometimes it'll give you so it's square root of three minus square root of two. So like let's look see if there's an alternative form. Mm. Doesn't look like it. All right. So unfortunately you do have to rationalize it. Well, no, you just I would just go um I would go to the other the the calculator okay. and compare the answers or like you know, find one that I don't know looks like that. Oh, it's the uh no, I guess maybe it's not. Anyway, yeah, go to the calculator and, and type in square square root of three minus two to have that value. And then hit enter and then just like try, you know, I don't know, the third one min one minus square root of three over three. I don't think it's that one. I think it's the other ones. Oh no, oh wait, oh no, not that one. Square square root of three. It's, it's yeah. a square root of three on the bottom. One plus square root of three. No, no, no you, you didn't. You didn't have a square root of three on the bottom. Oh, for the last one. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. I didn't. Um, square root. Oh god. Okay, so like now try maybe the 
uh, one plus squared three on the bottom or No, not that one either. Maybe it's... So it's not the first two. So I can do one minus, and then we'll do one plus. Oh, okay, there it is. Yes. Okay, looks good. This one I should probably put into the um not You dry the wolf you dry wolfram, maybe it'll work. Uh there are other calculators for this out there that are more specific to this, but Wolfram does really well with a lot of questions. Tangent A is equal to three. Tangent B is equal to six. Mm -hmm. So it let it, yeah, sometimes it, 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 Uh, needs more time to uh, compute. Scroll down, see if there's anything. Yeah, so it, it didn't. It didn't really give you anything that was useful. Um, so unfortunately, you gotta, you gotta like, do it longhand. So, all right, let me uh, share my screen. All right, that doesn't tell you what quadrant you're in, which is a bit annoying. But we'll we'll do this. So that's three over one. That's square root of ten. This is a B, so that's six over one square root of 37. That's this Pythagorean theorem. And so now you need your uh, formula for tangent. Um, and the reason you don't need the triangle triangles, they don't tell you which quadrant you're in because you, you actually just reuse the values. Oh, okay. so, so it ends up being, uh, again, the top goes with the top, the top goes with the top. So it ends up being tangent A, which is three, plus tangent B, six, over one minus three times six. So this is nine over negative 17, which is negative nine over 17. That's your final answer. Negative nine over 17. No, I'm sorry, sorry, that, I gave you the wrong sign. We're doing minus, aren't we? Yeah, I said it was wrong. Is it positive? Yeah. No, this comes minus, this becomes plus. So it's more more than that. Um I'm sorry my phone really dragging here. Uh that one should work. Negative three over nineteen? Yeah. Negative three over nineteen. Okay, yeah, I got it. Go ahead and share your screen whenever you're ready. We'll uh continue down this road. Alrighty. I would uh what would I do here? I guess I go to Wolfram and try this first. Okay. And you can just use uh like A instead of B instead of alpha, or you can use X instead of alpha and Y instead of beta. Okay. So like Yeah. Do I do a space in between them, or is it fine like that? I would, yeah, that, that's okay. Okay. And then... Except, yeah, and then Y there. Cosine plus Y. Cosine plus Y. All right. Yeah, try that. Um. You may find that you had you put one put uh yeah see it doesn't know what to, no, it didn't interpret that correctly. Okay. So there's your alternative forms. Cotangent X, cotangent Y minus one. Mm -hmm. That's the alternate form. That's the second answer there. Okay. So 
homework's just trying to get longer. It sucks. Let's see. Double angle formulas. There we go. Skip, 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 skip. But this one, should I put into Desmos? Yeah, or should I try, try a treble from uh, you know, sine x equals 5 over 8, and then cosine 2x. Sine x is equal to 5 over 8. And then you comma. said, oh, OK, comma. Cosine 2x. Mm. Give it a little time to load. Uh, so sometimes um, just doing it one more time, like hitting enter and seeing if it'll it'll load. Uh, sometimes you have to give the engine more time to compute. Yeah. Um, but this one is not the case. All right, I'll grab a snip. Um, okay, share screen. All right, so the quadrant the quadrant does matter. Uh, so this time it is, but it's in quadrant one, so that's that's nice. So sine theta five over eight. Okay, that's the uh, square root of sixty four minus twenty five. So that's square root of uh, thirty nine mm -hmm. there. And then so uh, there's actually there's actually, and I sent that in the chat again. There's a there's a bunch of different double angle formulas that you may need to know. Um, mm -hmm. Just gonna snip all those in here. I know you don't need that for today, but I was just throw that out there. So you can use any one of these. So the one we want to use though is that one because we just have to use the the original sine is five or eight squared like that, and then you can uh, can reduce this you know using using a calculator, which I'm about to do. And so that becomes a seven over thirty two. Seven over thirty-two. Got it. Go back to sharing my screen. Back. Oh, there it is. Should I put this one in Wolfram too? Yeah, try yeah, it. Right. I'll I'll uh grab the step in case it doesn't doesn't work. Say it again. Yeah, go ahead and try it. And um, if it doesn't work, I'll I'll show you how to work through it. Tangent four. So one of these, like, try putting the X in parentheses. Uh, I don't know why that would make a difference. The X and the two X in parentheses. Same, same with the original one there, Han. Uh, because I, sometimes if it, it doesn't know what you're saying, it, it doesn't know how to, exactly how to compute. Yeah, put that in parentheses. X in parentheses? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Try that one more time. All right, so yeah, it didn't, didn't work. All right. So you know you'll start getting a feel for which ones work, and maybe you'll go find a different calculator for that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but the formula is right here. The tangent of two theta is um, two times the tangent of theta three fourths over one minus three fourths squared. And uh, I'm just going once you once you have it, you put it into a, a calculator, whatever you like. Uh, um, I have a question. So you said that this little like this little formula sheet you sent it in the chat, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I think so. Maybe. Yeah. I recommend printing it out or screenshots of it. So you got it always available. It's really useful for the course. Yeah. Definitely will do that before the meeting ends. Twenty four over seven. Oops, that's not working. Twenty four over seven. Okay, yeah, that worked. Let me see if I can get a picture of that.
really quickly. Oh, I think I have this sheet already, actually. Okay. Um, alrighty. This one, can I just put into Wolfram again? I'm not seeing your screen. Sorry. And oh, yeah, sorry. It, yeah, it's we got to go back and forth. I forget to share sometime as well. So it's uh. Is your screen sharing right now? Yes, yes. You have to, yeah, you're going to have to do new share and do all that stuff. Okay. Oh, that's why. <laughs> was not even it. Continue. Okay, can you see uh, now? So this one, this one I would graph. Uh, go, because it's, because it's only got one variable. So go to uh, Decimos graphing calculator, graph uh, sine 2x. Cotangent or two, yeah, two x cotangent x. So you got to now. You got to definitely put those in parentheses. Oh, the variables, good. yeah, the arguments. Ah, uh, ooh, what the heck? Why did you do that? Backspace it out. Yeah, one more time. There you go. Close parentheses. That? You got to put a no. You got to put a parentheses around the two x, just just oh. like it's written, just okay. the, exactly the way it's written. Yeah. No need to add or subtract, and then uh, like this one looks like it'll be like a two cosine squared x. So you could try uh, graphing that. Two cosine squared. So, yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. So you'll be able to do that for a few of these. You'll find you'll be able to, you'll probably be able to get through, navigate a lot more of these. So, yeah. all right, we're going to stop there for, uh, for today. Good job.